Hi everyone, um, my name is Emma, and today I'd like to make Pizelle. So I thought I'd show you guys how. Um, I made some Pizelle last week actually. Um, I was hoping on giving the cookies, the, the Pizelle cookies, to my neighbors. It was like a little thank you um, in quarantine. Most of them are elderly, so I thought that'd be really nice. Except I ate them all before I gave them away. So, today's a really nice day. Um, I figured why not make another batch and this time I'll actually give them away like I was planning. So, I'll show you guys how to make pizzelle. I'm using my Nona's recipe. Um, she made the best pizzelle. I'm gonna do a little bit of a spin on it. I'm gonna add them here. I'm gonna add actually a triple sec um, to it. Today, we're gonna use six extra large eggs I'm just going to use regular eggs, um, any eggs, just six eggs. Next we need one full cup of sugar, white sugar. Then you're going to take one third of a cup or nine tablespoons of oil, I already measured it out. I'm using, I think this is just plain vegetable oil. Um, you can use corn oil, you can use olive oil if you want. Um, this one, I think, has the least amount of flavor in terms of once it's baked and you can't really taste it. If you do want to use olive oil because it is healthier, you probably will taste it. So just keep that in mind. You're also going to need two full cups of all-purpose flour. You're supposed to be using, um, usually, my nona used to make it with one full lemon peel grated. I don't have a lemon and it's quarantine here still, so I don't really feel like going into the store just for a lemon. So I'm gonna use a little squirt of this real lemon lemon juice. Just probably maybe like a tablespoon or so. We'll taste and we'll see. And then you're also gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. I'm also gonna add triple sec. She did not have any measurements for the triple sec or the liqueur. Um, so just pour it in and taste as you go. When you do cook it, you won't be able to taste like the alcohol. It just will taste a little bit of like an orangey flavor. Um, oh, it smells so good. I love it. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna add vanilla. And she didn't add vanilla to her, so there is no measurement. I'm just gonna add a little dash. It's just vanilla. So if you like vanilla, add vanilla. Need some oil or butter to put on top of the pizzelle machine so that it doesn't burn and stick. Um, you don't really need any more after the very first spray, so spray it when it's hot and then you won't need it anymore. I'm just going to use coconut oil. The best part, we'll just splash it in there. Um, so typically you should be, you should probably be putting all your dry ingredients in together first, your wet into a separate bowl. Um, I don't do that because I'm lazy.
think the hardest part about making Kizel is um, like making sure that you kind of understand how long it should be pressed down for because it's like a little panini press. Um, and I'll show you guys kind of how I figure it out. Just keep mixing until your arm hurts. Get a good workout in. Just drip. It is kind of chunky still, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna a little bit of this. When you're when they're done in there, because it, it makes about sixty pizzelle, which is quite a bit. Um, so you're gonna be here for a little while. Um, so I always have like you're supposed to have um, one of those like standing kind of like racks that you could that you're supposed to put like cake or cut or cupcakes to cool. Um, but I don't have one of those, so I'm using a pizza pan with some paper towel. Like you would with your fingers, they are kind of hot, but honestly, like you get used to it. So that was it. It's not good. Like I made these last week, and they were so good. And I don't know what I did wrong. Like I followed the instructions more than I did last week, and they're like mush. They're like um, like airy, and they shouldn't be airy. They should be like cracker like. So that's new. Um. They still taste good though. 